The Pope left the Vatican in the middle of the pandemic to celebrate a special occasion, Divine Mercy Sunday. He celebrated Mass at the Church of the Holy Spirit in Sassia, a few yards from St. Peter's Basilica. John Paul II entrusted to this Roman shrine the responsibility of promoting the devotion to the Divine Mercy in the Eternal City. In the year 2000, he canonized Faustina Kowalska, known as the person who spread this devotion in the first half of the 20th century. Pope Francis celebrated Mass with only his most essential collaborators. In his homily, he took up the ideas he had preached so strongly during the extraordinary Jubilee of Mercy in 2016. During the Mass, the Pope reflected on humanity's response to the pandemic. He expressed his hope for solidarity between countries so they could help one another overcome the health emergency. That's why he said there is a lesson to be learned from the health emergency. No one is invulnerable, and everyone needs help. This pandemia recorda però che non ci sono differenze e confini tra chi soffre. Siamo tutti fragili, tutti uguali, tutti preziosi. Quel che sta accadendo ci scuota dentro. È tempo di rimuovere le desiguaglianze, di risanare l'ingiustizia che mina alla radice la salute dell'intera umanità. Impariamo dalla comunità cristiana delle origini, descritta nel libro degli Atti degli Apostoli. This is the same idea he emphasized on the evening of extraordinary prayer for the end of the pandemic. It was an occasion on which the Pope prayed in solitude, beneath the rain, before an empty St. Peter's Square. This was the second time Pope Francis left the Vatican since the quarantine was decreed. On the first occasion, he went to the church of San Marcello to pray before the miraculous crucifix. He prayed for those affected by the coronavirus and for an end to the pandemic. <laughs>